Hey what's up guys, it's Kazoo here and welcome to episode 6 of Skid Into Glory and yes this is indeed the second episode of today. I asked for 1500 likes on the previous video and you guys absolutely smashed those so a big big thank you to you and if you can do the same on this video it would be absolutely awesome and much appreciated. So uh, we are going to start off by opening the 5 packs because in the previous episode we managed to win the title once again which of course means if you know the rules we get to open 5 packs so uh, in, the, in the packs we already opened we didn't really get the greatest players and also in our final pack we didn't really get anything good not even a rare player which was a shame but um yeah decide to list up this guy though Forster the goalkeeper from uh, from West Bromwich Albion because he might go for something because he plays in the Barclays Premier League then after that I decide to have a look at all the players that we got from the packs and decide to sell them on because I needed some coins because I wanted to build a new squad that uh, doesn't mean that we're gonna sell on our old squad with Jackson Martinez and Quaresma no we're gonna keep that one and we're just gonna build a new squad so we can switch things up when uh, other players are low on fitness so um, yeah the formation I decided to go with is the 4-5-1 formation in my opinion also one of the better formations this year on ultimate team especially if you like to build a skill squad and that is of course what we are going to do we're going to bring in some new five star skillers the first one is Memphis Depay in my opinion the cheap Cristiano Ronaldo although I used him before in the exact same formation as a left mid and he didn't really do it for me so hopefully this time you'll do a better job then on the right mid we have Nani another five star skiller then the third five star skiller we have in our squad is says Douglas Costa there from Shakhtar Donetsk probably one of the five star skillers I like the most this year we're going to use him as a cam then at the sentiment is Fernando there he's mainly there for the defensive kind of work I would say then as a striker we're going to use Palacio who looks absolutely amazing this year especially for none there Japes kind of hyped me up so I figured you know what I'm going to give him a try unfortunately only his three star skill moves would have been amazing if he actually had four star skill moves but um, anyway this is the squad in the 4-5-1 formation we have Begovic on goal looks amazing this year as well that the two center backs are Kalker and Onua Onua with 83 pace right back is Cedric looks very solid uh, left back we have uh, Quadrado there from PSV to link up with this man Memphis Depay five star skin moves two star weak foot which in my opinion is a little bit off should be maybe four or maybe three uh, then a C, uh, CM or CDM is Fernando he's mainly there for the defensive kind of work like I mentioned earlier uh, right side we have Nani center attacking mid is Hernanes with four star skill moves and five star weak foot the other camp is Douglas Costa with five star skill moves and as a striker we do have Palacio with three star skill moves three star weak foot 85 pace 82 shooting and 84 dribbling he looks like a really really cool player so um yeah this is basically the squad if you're interested in the whole squad in the prize etc then there will be a link in the description down below to a for that link so you can check that one out and um, the last thing we had to do was pick up a manager because i think a few players were, were low on chemistry i think hernanes and fernando so i decided to pick up a brazilian manager and add the, uh, the dutch league so the pie would also be on full chemistry because um, i didn't have the coins to buy this position modifiers but uh, anyway we uh, we move on into the first game with this squad and uh, we come up against a bit of a Premier League team with a lot of Arsenal players as you can see and also two players there from a, from a different league that were on low chemistry but it's actually him starting off the game with a nice through pass there to Leroy Fair and he makes it 1-0 to give him that early lead then a straight from kickoff you have the ball there with Fernando we pass it off to Palacio who's very quick we bridge his defender that looks pretty awesome then uh, we get the ball here we keep it inside we get past another defender we go with a finesse shot around the goalkeeper and we do make it 1-1 so a quick equal there for us that from a free kick he gets a header and an amazing save there from Begovic who keeps us into the game then the 30th minute it's Nani on the ball with two scoop turns we beat his defense and we finesse it in once again around the goalkeeper to make it 2-1 and actually give us that lead and now uh, we move on into the second half it's Hernanes on the ball play it off to Palacio who goes through gets past Mertesacker there quite easily we chip his goalkeeper and guess what we do put it into the back of the net as well a lovely call there from, uh, from Palacio who picks up his second goal on his day you and uh, extend our lead then uh, we're in the 70th minute it's Douglas Costa on the ball we get a little bit lucky there with the skill move but nonetheless though we uh, we keep going through a lovely Elastico there we, uh, we go with a 1-2 pass with Fernando we keep going through I decide to go with a Rabona cross to Palacio but for some reason he decided to jump I think it would have been pretty cool if he maybe did a back heel or something into the back of the net would have been awesome anyway but um, yeah we move on here in the 84th minute it's Hernandez on the ball goes on a lovely skill run and he finesses it once again around the goalkeeper to make it 4-1 and basically 
basically make it game over because my opponent didn't really have that many chances during this game. Uh, in the 88th minute, we do get another chance there with Palacio where we go 1-1 on -one versus the goalkeeper. Uh, I wasn't really too sure what to do because as you can see, I decided to go with a borrow to a shot, but I think we were a little bit far to the side. That is also why the, the ball went wide. So um, yeah, that is how the game managed. We won our first, uh, first game with this new squad with 4-1, which is a nice, uh, comfortable win, I guess. So um, yeah, we move on into the final game of this episode and we come up against a really really strong Barclays Premier League squad with Balotelli and Jovetic up front and yeah you can see it coming already we make a mistake with our goalkeeper a terrible throw there from Begovic and he makes it 1-0 to give him that early lead in the second minute already then in the 13th minute it's Palacio on the ball who is very very hard to catch up with as you can see he's just so so quick uh, we do get a shot in there with his left foot not really too sure if the goalkeeper maybe deflected it but um, yeah it went over then instead in the 18th minute he does get a chance as well with uh, Jovetic I think and Balotelli but an amazing double save there from our goalkeeper Begovic who keeps us into the game once again so um yeah it's my opponent picking up a corner we do clear it away then we go on a counter attack straight away with nanny our right mate who is also really really fast so difficult to catch up then uh, we cut inside there with the spin to a hocus pocus to beat two defenders then uh, we keep going through there with a the skin was trying to beat his defenders uh, we go with a roulette to a scoop turn to beat two defenders in a row and we put it into the back of the net a lovely goal there from nanny who gets us back into the game and makes it 1-1 then uh, we move on in the 35th minute only two minutes or so after we uh, we made it 1-1 with Nanny. We go through it with Palacio. And like I mentioned earlier, he's just so, so fast to catch up. So we go through, we take out his goalkeeper and we do make it 2-1 to give us that lead, which in my opinion was a little bit undeserved because my opponent had so many chances during this game. And you can see it again, like Begovic is just everywhere. He had so many saves during this game. Uh, then in the 45th minute, or just before off time, we do get another chance with Nanny with a skill moves as per usual. We take out a few of them, as you can see, some lovely stuff. We cut in with the McGeady's and then we go for a shot but the shot that we had was absolutely terrible then uh, we move it in the second half in the 87th minute my opponent does get two chances there towards the end of the game with the Balotelli and Jovetic but again it was Begovic who saved it and yeah he was definitely man of the match he was playing absolutely amazing and you will see it from, uh, from the stats as well we only had two shots on target which were the shots we actually put into the back of the net and my opponent I think he had like 16 shots or something uh, you can actually see it yourselves right there we had a little bit more more possession although we had more possession I think uh, yeah, a draw would have been more deserved but luckily enough we, uh, we got the three points and um, yeah we move on to the player ratings I think you can see it there from Begovic a 9.9 .9 rating and he had 21 saves in total which is absolutely ridiculous so um, yeah guys that is uh, that is going to be the end of this video hope you enjoyed it if you did then make sure to leave a like it would be very much appreciated and if you can get 1500 likes that would be absolutely awesome so I'd like to thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys later bye bye